Gang, gang, and we back with another video. This is your boy Silk Living, and welcome back to the channel. If you're just jumping in, welcome to Living Tactical. All right, guys. <clears throat> so, I got a little something new, something I discovered. I'm very excited to do this video. Um, this video's gonna be a little different. I'm always trying new things, always trying to incorporate new things. So, y'all tell me what y'all think as far as the camera angles. All right. I'm back at my desk, all right? So, first off and foremost, um, this is um, a Taurus Millennium G2. See that, Taurus Millennium G2? All right, and we're gonna make sure it's clear first. So you wanna push this right here, it's called a magazine release. I don't have a magazine in it. So drop your magazine down, turn it to a side, safe direction, finger off the trigger. And we want to check it and make sure it's clear. It's clear. It's clear. It's clear. And we use a racket a few times, pointing the same direction. All right. But I'm going to do that with all three of my firearms. So I'm going to do that again. Magazine release. Empty. I'm going to check it. Check it. Check it. I'm going to check it. Check it. Check it. Boom. Put that down to the side. And then we also have uh, a Toro, which is my latest build. Um, <clears throat> this finally came in the mail, so I had to throw that on there. That's a comp, just so you know. And like I said, we're going to check it. We're going to check it. No magazine in there. And we're going to side and boom. So you know, it's clear. All right. Now, what we're doing today. Okay. So when I first started out, I had the fiber optics. I did those myself, as you can see. Boom, look pretty good, right? Um, I did fiber optics on this firearm, but I changed it. And then I went to, like I said, the night suppressor sights. Make sure you jump back and check that video. I just dropped that, and then I added the optic. This is the G3C Toro, optics ready. So it comes with this slide. So a lot of people have wondered Yo, can I still add this to my firearm? Yes, you can. Now, they got this thing where you can buy a whole new slide. The slide is this top part right here. You can buy a whole new slide, just the top part, and add it to your G3, right? But you're probably saying, what am I going to do for the G2? So for the G2, they actually came out with some slides that you can add on here. You can actually, not the slide, but you can actually um, remove your, uh, your stock. Uh, rear sights. I removed both of mine because I'm changing them. So I took the optics off and to get mine out, it was just a, a Phillips. And um, once I took them out of the side, I was going to do something a little different. So I got these in the mail today. This is an optic plate for Taurus G2, G2S, and G3. So if you still wanted to get this same look, now you won't have the rear uh, sights on there, but you will have the optic unless you decide to get it cut, you know. So you can still get that look. And I decided, you know what, since I have three of these and I can demonstrate with something old, let's go back and do that. So I ordered these also uh, online. I believe I didn't get these from Amazon, I, I believe I got these from Galloway Precision, where uh, my original um, magazines, my 15. And my 17 came from and that's also where i got my extensions from so if you uh haven't seen that video definitely want to check that out that's that plus two so the plus two and a plus three for the 17 and the 15 that's galloway precision because people always ask me where am i getting my magazines from so these look like they're allen keys so they're right there there yeah, i can see that i got three cameras so that's the reason why I'm trying to show y'all. Uh, and uh, from my understanding, they would just slide on. Well, I'm going to have to slide it in. But they would just lock into place like that. Got to take these tops off. Um, it's actually upside down. But I, they would slide on in. And then I would just screw it on down. And then I could add the optic that I 
whatever I chose. All right, guys, so I got the little screws out and I just use like a little Allen key that I had. I try to keep um, all the accessories I get from other builds together. So as you can see, it's like an easy little, I'm gonna do it again. It's like an easy little slide in. I don't believe this is the way it go. So it's just like a, see that how I'm sliding it? I believe that's the way it goes. Boom, and it just slid right on. Um, it would make sense to just drop a screw in there. So. Now once I know that this screw will, yep, it went in there just fine. Okay, now I'm gonna pull it back out real quick, just so I can add some Loctite to it. Because usually when I do a build or I'm changing the build, once I do something, I leave it like that. I'm not going to go too crazy. Just want to add um, a little Loctite around the screw. So, so what are we going to do? And basically what we just did is we just put, we turned my PT111 slash G2 to just like the Toro. So like I said, you don't have to go out and buy another gun. As you can see, I've done so much with, I mean, I have three, but you can see how it's so easy to uh, customize that one. You can change the slide on it. You can change the trigger on it. You can add a back plate. You can just change the internals. So there we go. Like I said, I got different camera angles, so I'm trying to make sure you guys can see that when I go back and edit this video. And I just want to tighten it, not too much. I don't want to strip it, but I want it to be snug. I want it, I want it to be snug. I want it, I want it to be nice and snug. Yeah, see? Nice and snug. Yeah. See? Nice and snug. And it's on there. She's not going anywhere. Okay, cool. So now that that's on there, let's go to uh, part two. And let me see about putting an optic on here. And because um, I've been thinking about getting like a Hollison, uh, better quality. Now that I'm understanding how these work. I've seen some that has like a shake and wake. Um, I've seen better qualities. Like I said, this is ADE. Got this on um, Amazon. It was like 70, 80 bucks, I think. Might go back and check that video. But I'm going to put this one on here and then get a better quality for the Toro. So we're going to take this off and to put it on to my old PT111 G2 just to see how it looks. You see it has a little bit of a, a rise compared to this one. It was just flush. But I don't think that's going to bother me too much. I, I still think it's going to look nice. So bear with me and I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, gang, so did a nice little transition. Um, now I'm just finna to tighten these down, torque them just a little bit, not too tight because like I said, I don't wanna strip it, but I've decided this is where um, this new, well, this old ADE site will be. And I'm going to look for something that's a uh, bit, a little bit uh, higher quality. I'm gonna say better quality, quite better quality. Sorry, a little tongue tied. Better quality than um, what I currently bought the first time. My whole point of buying a cheap uh, green dot was so that I could see if that was for me. I don't like to go out and spend a lot of money on something and then realize I don't like it. Now, it does have a little play. Um, I know I have more screws, so I think what I'm gonna go do is put some other screws into it so it doesn't have as much play, but that's pretty much how it looks. It's a little higher, which isn't a problem for me because now I would go back and buy a suppressor height sight front 
for this, just a match, just a co-witness. Um, definitely have some longer screws in here. Definitely, definitely got some, some big boys. I would probably try those and see if that would make it a more uh, flush fit because I do have a little bit of play, a little too much for my liking, but I do, I do like it. Um, hmm. It's different, it's a lot higher. It's way higher. And I'm like I said, I definitely need to fix that play because the battery is loose and it's not gonna allow the green dot to come on unless it's flush. So I'm gonna go back and do that right now and then I'll get right back into it. Okay, gang, so I'm back. <clears throat> so what ended up happening is, um, the two, I had some longer screws, these were too long. Uh, these right here were too sh But I ended up finding some screws that were just fine. Um, they really closed the gap. Like you see, there's no more play, there's no wiggle. They are super tight. And they are definitely, definitely in there. I actually kind of like it like this. I noticed that with the ADE in the front, can you see it? I don't know if you can see that. In the front, it, it was pinching. It was definitely, let me angle this a lot better. Can you see that? In the front, it was definitely pinching. And, be and because it was pinching, I think the light was staying on. And because the light was staying on, my light no longer works. So I need to get another battery. <clears throat> and I think that's an issue that I was having with this, because right in the front, sometimes I guess it was pinching and it will, let, it will leave the light on. Um, so I'm definitely going to do something different with this. I'm going to get another optic on it. Um, I love these. <laughs> I still haven't got to go to the range with these, but I'm definitely headed to the range real soon. Uh, because like I said, this pistol is finished. Um, now, I can run it like that. So that's one thing I, I really like about the Taurus brand period is that you can swap it out, you can change it up, you can do something different. So now I can have two firearms with uh, red dots. Boom, and then this one, this one's optic ready. And if you got the regular G2, you can add this bad boy on top, get you a suppressor height sight, and then, you know, you're still in the game. I actually like this, and I'm going to leave this on here. But I will be um, buying me a whole new um, red dot, green dot. Uh, so whatever you prefer, make sure you jump in the comments and let me know. Uh, you feeling my new camera setup? Let me know. Just trying some different, different angles, different point of view. Um, we back, baby. You know what I'm saying? Also, if you want to see me do a Glock build... Preferably, I'm looking at the Glock 26, the Glock 19X, or the 19. I'm really feeling the 19X. Uh, did some research on that. Uh, let me know. Also, if you want to see me do the 300 Blackout, I'm interested in that also. So it's between those two, the Glock 26 or the 300 Blackout. Jump in the comments. Let me know. I have chosen, and we we going to get it in. So for now... That's what's going on. Um, I still have these. You know, they're really cheap. I don't know. I might let them go. I'm not going to bust no head. I'll probably charge like five or ten bucks, bro. I might just, whatever, you know. Fifteen at the most. Not going to hide in that. Something, like I said, when I have accessories I'm no longer using, I've upgraded to something better. I'm letting old things go, so make sure you holler at me about that. Um, I'm still rocking my naked holster for anybody who wondered. Um, I still have my Lakeland threaded barrel, which works no problem. And I also have my other barrel, which is ported. Um, <clears throat> because I have changed this now to this gun and it's going to stay on here because I'm changing this build again. Um, this will be going inside the MCK. So I have to take this laser off and attach it to this one. So I got some work to do. But anyway, another video, y'all. Just want to let you know if you do have the old PT-111 like I do, you do have or you want to have that G3 optic look, 
you can go to Galloway Precision. I'm not sponsored by them. And you can get the optic. So you see that? You can get the optic plate for Taurus for the G2, the G2, G2S, and the G3. If you don't want to buy the slide, the slide changes the whole top and it is gives you the Glock sights. So if you don't want to spend, I think it's 150 I think this was like hmm, $30, $40. It was really cheap. And boom, now you got the slide. Not the slide, but now you got the plate that changes the rear so you can add um, a little cheap red dot or expensive red dot, whatever you prefer. Change your front, that's just nothing but a screw. And your firearm still looks up to date if you choose to do something different. All right, guys, I'm not gonna waste no more time. I appreciate you guys, love y'all. Make sure you like, subscribe, jump in the comments. Give me more things to think about, more things to build. Do you wanna see a Glock 26 or do you wanna see a 300 Blackout build? I holla at y'all, y'all be safe and see you in another one. Peace. Living Studio. Living. Living.